Since Admiral Hanson will not be joining us, I thought you might be interested in this report. If our sources are correct, the Indies are planning their most significant attack in years. They have selected a target which would hurt us immeasurably. Which is? The Toleman jump point at Alpha Centauri. They plan to block the most strategically vital junction point in known space. Block it? How? I'll... I'll recall the fleet. We can... No. If we send in the fleet, there won't be an attack. We'll just lose our informants. No. This needs something. Someone special. Someone we can use without raising suspicion. I'll get on to it. We can have the most decorated officers in known space. Listen, and listen well, my friend. We don't need decorated. We don't need senior, well-educated, or well-connected. This is a war. What we need are results. Now, tell me. Which serving officer has had the most kills? Hmm. I'll just... Clay Jefferson H. Captain Dreadnought CNV-301. Kill total 151. Confirmed. Jefferson Clay, eh? Send him on a patrol mission to the Toleman jump point. Can we trust him? He has a reputation as a dangerous man. Good. We need a dangerous man. Okay, people, listen up. I know this mission was at short notice, so let's all be careful, okay? Let's see what treats we have in store for today. Captain, a serious situation is developing. You should get underway at once. As you are well aware, since the discovery of the capsule drive, all interstellar missions have to take place to and from Lagrange points. All of known space is connected by the interstellar linkages formed between Lagrange jump points. But the Toleman points in Alpha Centauri space are more crucial than the rest, lying at the very center of the known space network. You should proceed at best speed to the Toleman point A. My information suggests some kind of attack on the point itself is imminent. But as to what that attack involves, your guess is as good as mine. Just in case, we have a 10-ship backup squadron on standby if you FTL for assistance. This just sounds better and better. Your mission orders are patrol the target area and report back. If you engage any hostiles, call in the backup fleet. This is Admiral Brett terminating this briefing document. Well, you heard the man. Let's scan for hostiles. Scanning now. Found one. Low thermal trace, 2,000 Ks. Probably a tug. Puffin class. Okay, let's move to engage. Sir? Did we call for backup? The jump point sense is going crazy. I'm getting a number of major contacts. FTL for backup. Now! All ships. Dreadnought has signaled for assistance. Let's move it, people. Sir? If that's what I think it is... They're trying to block the point. FTO the backup squadron. Send an abort code. Too late. Hell. If those ships come out of jump space into a blocked point, we are gonna see those ships smeared all over the city. Attack pattern B3. No, no, climb! <laughs> 
That's it. Hold position here. Match velocities with the destroyer. Now, full burn for the blocker! So that is the story of how Jefferson Clay died. He gave up his life to save more than 1,500 of his fellow officers. He was the greatest hero in the history of space warfare, a role model, a legend. He made a difference by inspiring a whole generation of young officers. But of course it wasn't until five years later that Clay got the chance to figure out what was really going on. <laughs>